Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some Everfrost Dark Harvest Morgana. So I actually saw someone in the YouTube comments wanting me to play some Dark Harvest Morgana. So here we are. I do want to warn you girls that Dark Harvest is not a good room for Morgana for support, specifically for support, because in support, it's really hard for you to get to his Dark Harvest stack. You have a 2v2 lane and sometimes you're versing in transit. You might be versing tank laners. You have to really apply pressure in a 2v2 lane. It's not mid lane. In a mid lane, you have 1v1, you can kind of live your best life. But in a 2v2, you are kind of expected to do some work, especially if your ADC is not that strong of a laner. Everyone knows that in bot lane, the support is what drives the laning phase, and that's why you kind of want to have early game runes that help with that. Dark Harvest is a scaling type of rune, so it takes way too long for support to really get work done with that. So for Dark Harvest to proc, you need to damage a champion below 50% HP, and that will give you that burst damage. But Morgana's laning phase is actually really, really weak, especially if you're maxing W. The way W works is that the more HP someone is missing, the more damage you do with that. The problem with Dark Harvest and Morgana's W is just trying to get someone low in the first place. You can go Dark Harvest and Max W in your own game, but I can promise you that if you do this in support for Morgana, you're actually going to have a hard time trying to win games consistently. That's why I recommend getting 3 points into Q for that extra burst damage and then maxing W afterwards and then you can finish off Q, then your E. For the other runes, we have Cheap Shot, which makes you do extra damage to people that have impaired movement. Eyeball Collection for extra AP, so therefore more damage. Treasure Hunter for more gold to help you buy those expensive AP items. Presence of Mind, which gives you extra mana regen when you damage an enemy champion and take down just still 50% of your maximum mana. This is really good with your W because every time someone walks over your W, it refreshes your Presence of Mind. And then we have Coup de Gras, which makes you do 8% more damage to champions who have less than 40% health, and that works really well with the W. For the last rune to go double AP into the armor or magic resistance depending on what you're versing. Now as for the items we are going Everfrost into Horizon Focus, Morelloads into Deathcap and we have Sorcerer Boots for the extra magic penetration. We have Horizon Focus to do extra damage to people that are slowed or immobilized by you which is really good with your Q and your ultimate and Everfrost. We have Morelloads for anti-healing because everyone seems to be healing up these days so we need something to deal with that. And then we have Deathcap for extra AP which is really good for Morgana because she has really really good AP ratios especially on her W. So the reason why we go Everfrost is actually because we need the extra burst damage at the start to get them low in the first place for our Dark Harvest and our W to do more damage. You can go Ludens as well, but Everfrost gives you the extra utility and snare duration for your W to last longer on someone. And you can go Leandres with Dark Harvest Morgana, but I will warn you that it's going to be very hard for you to proc those Dark Harvest stacks because the burn damage is just way too slow for you to get them low enough at that point. With Everfrost, Morgana can have extra snare duration to lock down people, so you can Q into W without the duration of the group which you can see at the top and then the Everfrost at the end for extra duration on your snare. If you're strong enough and you really want to lock down someone with your CC, your ultimate combo with Everfrost is going to begin with your ultimate like so. Wait out until it's stunned and press your W when it lands. Wait out the stun, press Q. Wait out for your root duration, then press Everfrost and you can press W because your W gets reduced cooldown as you hit people with it and that will be your ultimate combo with Morgana. I want to say to you guys that this is a for fun Morgana build. It is not going to be your strongest build. The strongest build for Morgana is actually to go Enchantress and Moonstone and if you want to go AP, going Leandre's Max W is your best bet and going Comet instead of Dark Harvest. I honestly think that Dark Harvest is a rune that's only good for mid lane Morgana and there are better options than Everfrost for Morgana. But with all that being said, let's get into the game and have some fun with Dark Harvest Everfrost Morgana. Okay girlies, let's go! We are versing Callista Stena in bot lane and we have Samira as our ADC. I'm a little scared of the Garen because as you all know, Garen has a lot of tenacity thanks to his W ability, unless it's a different ability, I'm not sure. But to the one that gives him movement speed, that one gives him a lot of tenacity and if he gets Merc Tread, girl, my bindings are not gonna last more than like one second, which is quite a shame. Like honestly, they need to add more items that let you deal with tenacity because yes, there is the... Oh, hold on. Hold that thought. I think we can all in. Go for it, Samira. Your flash, girl. I can get that binding. Lovely. Girl, that Samira is not using her exhaust or flash. We can actually get this. Nice, we can kill him. Lovely. Dark oh, period. Girl, she took 10 years to use her exhaust. 
The thought I was trying to say is not many people are going to get Anathema's Embrace. Is that what it's called? I forgot what the item. Anathema is the one that um, lowers the tenacity of a single target person. Because that's really kind of like a tank item. And I have made a video on Morgana with Anathema's and why I don't like it. So, you know, I don't always go Morgana Anathema's. I only ever go Morgana's Anathema's is if there's only one specifically fed person that I have to shut down. I do not think Anathema's is good on Morgana. Like, for 99% of the time. And that's not even just Morgana, there are other champions like, you know, what if you're Janna or what if you're Serena or whatever, like, you're not really gonna buy Anathemas on those characters for the most part. So I wish there were more items out there or ways to deal with tenacity because there are Merfres, there's the runes, there's a the potion, and then sometimes champions like Garen have more tenacity than others. It's just it's really hard to deal with, honestly. So you know what, we need something to deal with this stuff because it's honestly a hate crime, is it? It's an LGBT hate crime. Graze is coming. We can get the center. Lovely. So as you guys see, with the way I was binding, I was waiting for the center to move into this war. You do not want to bind too early because the center is standing here. She has all this room to escape my binding. But if she goes over here next to the war, she is this part is blocking her path. So I get a free binding just from angling it that way because she was standing here. So oh, hold on, get a binding. Lovely. She was standing here, so all she can do is move onto the side here, but that's where my binding is gonna go, and it's, it's not enough time for her to get there. Or she go, goes left or right, but that's the exact same path of my binding, so it was always gonna be a guaranteed bind. I, honestly, I think I shot a bit earlier than I should have, because she actually, if she had the um, reaction time, she could have sidestepped up a bit and probably dodged that, but thankfully she didn't. I think I have a binding her. She's gonna probably jump downwards. Oh no, she didn't! Damn, it's a bit tricky with Callista because Callista just jumps and you can't really tell where she's going. Let me go for again. Callista? Lovely. Most people kind of dodge towards you in a way, rather than away from the binding. Fizz is coming down, I have my shield for him. Go for it, Fizz. Lovely. All these minions are in the way. Nice. That should be a kill. Oh no, the barrier! Ah, uh, I thought I could just walk away, but that barrier, it took me off guard. Oops. Ah, oh, the VI go. Oh, maybe I can help him. Nice dodge. I'm coming very slowly because I don't have food. But they're staying, they're staying. We got this. Ah, oh, maybe I get a binding here. Got her. Hit that for the vision. I don't know who the heck hit this dragon. Did Samaria hit this dragon? Not the Samaria hitting the dragon, I'm screaming. Uh... What is the Samaria doing? She... Uh, she flashed when I shielded her, and then she took away the plant. You know what? I'm actually just gonna play for myself. I'm not gonna shield her anymore. She's clearly not playing for me. <laughs> she's screwing me up so hard. And she, I believe she was the one that was hitting the dragon. Like, she's actually helping the enemy team at this point. Hello? Oh. Maybe she'll dodge down? No! Oh! That was actually- I predicted it, but... Damn, it was too early, I guess. I don't know. Grace is coming. Go for the binding. Actually, just gonna go for all. I get a stun from both. Lovely. You always want to ult first, then bind, if you do not need to land the binding. Why waste your binding for a chance to hit when you can walk up and ult for a guaranteed stun into a snare? Okay, guys, we get it. Oh, <laughs> I'm bullying them too much. Can we play the game now? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm bullying them too much. I think even because a jungler and a fizz keeps coming down. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my love. Also, ulting before your Q is especially important if you are not maxing Q. Your ultimate takes 3 seconds to land its stun, and your binding is a 2 second snare to 3 second snare depending on how much you max it. If you are not maxing binding, it will not be 3 seconds. 
and because it's not 3 seconds, you will not be able to get your ultimate off the stun before your snare wears out. And that is a chance for the enemy team to flash away, dash away, whatnot. So always ult first, then snare if you're strong enough to survive. Some of you guys know that I've done some Morgana VOD reviews on some of you girls, and a big thing that I kept on seeing was the girlies kept on using their Q before their ult. That is a really big mistake. I don't know if this board is if this bush is water. Okay, that's no center ult. Go for the binding? Nice. She should be dead. <laughs> bye bye. I think we can go back now. I got my upper frost. And my boots. Get the binding. Oh! -ho! She really tried to stop my backs, Miss Thing. Zonk Chinese. They do have a lot of healing and it does look like she's gonna go shield bow and obviously Viego has healing plus Senna. But I don't think I need to get Anza healing just yet. I think I'll just go Horizon Focus into Morello's. Honestly, we can get this Heimerdinger, but he his turrets can stop my... Oh, maybe get her. Lovely. Go for it, Samira. Oh, my Dark Harvest stack doesn't go off. Oh, I need to ult. Oh, this Garen's gonna kill me. The tenacity, oh, is too much, the W. So I actually had to, oh, I actually couldn't get a Dark Harvest stack because I was actually hitting Senna's barrier. You only get a Dark Harvest stack if you're hitting someone's HP. Nice. But because I wasn't technically hitting the, the HP, I didn't actually get my Dark Harvest stack. And for those who don't know, you can actually save your teammates' records if it's not a displacement CC. So for example, if you're playing Janna and let's just say this Viz is recalling and maybe an Ezreal ult is trying to hit the Viz to stop the back, you can actually shield the Viz to stop the recall from being interrupted. If, if the shield is strong enough, if the shield is strong enough and the Ezreal ult doesn't break through the shield, it means that technically Fizz's HP was untouched and therefore he was undamaged and he can still go with his recoil. Like I said though, it only works if it's not like a displacement CC, so like a hook or a stun or whatnot. Apart from Zillion Bomb, for some reason Zillion's bomb, even if you're not stunning someone, just one bomb itself can stop a recoil. I'm not too sure why, but <laughs> I guess it's a thing. <laughs> Oh, I actually landed that. Bye bye, I get ever frosted. Ha <laughs> ha. I actually skinnied that through his turret. I'd love to see you. It's actually warded here, so I'm not gonna stay in this bush. If it wasn't warded, I'll stay in this bush and try to kill them, but I think we can actually stay in this bush. Oh, that was so close. I think. They didn't even have a vision on me. I'm actually just gonna stay around here. I can dance around here. Oh, so close. Maybe we can bait them with this ward, who knows. Ah, oh, I can get this Viego maybe? Kill him. You wanna go, Viego? You're gone, mate. You're gone. Bye bye Oh, I thought the Kalissa would go backwards. I, I said she would jump in like that. I can actually get them here. Yeah. Oh, it's warded. We can see them. Bye bye, Senna. Bye bye. Bye bye to. Oh, no, she has her shield. If she didn't have shield, I would kill her. I'm just gonna stay here. Play around. With oh, no. Actually, I didn't clear that ward. They know I'm here. But it's not good to play around here. Never mind. Walk away. I mean, they can go for the dragon. They don't need me. I don't wanna play here. You can solo it. <laughs> I don't care. You can solo it. I wanna have fun. Come here. Yes, come here, Heimerdinger. Hey! Ever frost him. Lovely. If I had my dog harvest stack, I think that Heimerdinger would have died. We're gonna get Horizon Focus. That helps with doing extra damage. For those that don't know, Horizon Focus makes you do an extra 10% damage to them if you immobilize them, which is really great for Morgan, especially because I have Everfrost. Also, so is help as well for that Horizon Focus. It's very important as a Morgana player that you play around the shadows. That is, if you're playing Damage Morgana, 
if you're playing in Chanchi's Morgana, you probably want to play around your teammates more, obviously for your Moonstone procs, but you still want to play around the shadows to get those bindings off. As you all know, Morgana's binding is extremely slow, and as you get higher up in ranks, people know how to dodge it. So you need to play around your ward and vision to get oh to get those surprise bindings off. But that requires a good knowledge in map control and your wards. Maybe we can get this timing out? Nope. They're coming around, and this is why warning is important. I'm fine. Get off me, sir. The Everfrost is nice if you miss your binding. Oh. Go for the Viego. Or Callista. I okay, night. We actually got this. Bye, Senna. <laughs> bye bye. I don't want to really flash out, but I could. Oh, I should have upgraded my ult then. Ulted. Maybe I can try to go for this Callista. Nope, no, they surrendered. Well, GG. That was a good game. I will say it was a bit short, but. Maybe that's okay. And of course, we love to see that Morgana does the most damage and Samira so doing the least damage. You know, you know who the real carry is. Now come on now. Anyways, that was the Everfrost Dark Harvest Morgana build in action. I hope you enjoyed seeing some sickening bindings in this game. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>